I want to look at tipping point in your finances. In your finances. You know, I never had a balance of one million in my account until 2015. 2015, and I, I decreed that this year I must have a balance of at least one million in my account. And my wife was sharing with my visitor that every morning when she wakes up, she says, money come, uh, students come. So by decreeing it, I called the one million. Know ye not that ye are gods, be ye imitators of God, calling things that be not as if they are. So you, you see, wealth starts from the mind. When it starts from the mind, then you decree it, then you act it. And so when I decree that by the end of that year, it got to November 15th, I remember. November 15th, before I saw 1.15 million in my account. But listen, it did not come by doing the same thing, the same way in the same place. It came by adding another business to my life. It came by understanding how people who are older than I was then managed to become rich. And that's why you must register for this seminar. I found, I got that money from real estate. Real estate. There was a property where I just came from my, with my visitor. I bought for 350000 then. That's where we built our school at Okokoko. And I sold part of those uh, real estate to train my children overseas. It was there that I sold that real estate and got 1.15 million. So if you are doing business or you are doing whatever, try to see where you can put your money and then your money will grow geometrically. You know, I've told you about different types of money. Non-living money. That is the money I used to buy this chair. The, this chair is a gift. It won't grow. It's non-living money. Then there is dead money. Dead money is the money for my perfume, money for my cream, money for my food. You need that. You need dead money to stay alive, to eat, to stay alive. Then there is living money, money that grows, uh, increases in value. And those are the monies you invest, particularly into real estate. Then there is eternal money. That is the money, even after you have departed, it will still be bringing money like my wife's grandfather that bought uh, a property, owned a property years back. And even though he had died, um, a mast was located there and they sent 15 million to them. My wife took her part of the 15 million, which was 2.5 million. She used to do a self-contained apartment that she inherited from her mother. And then my grandchildren are going to collect rent from there. That becomes eternal money. Then there's irresponsible money. That is money that you did not labor, you did not give assignment. The money will be in your hand before you know it, it is gone. So for you to have a tipping point, you must have an investment that can mature with time, that can bring bulk money, or an investment that can regularly bring money on a daily basis in units that when you accumulate them they might be they will become they will become large sums then you must meet somebody you must meet somebody you must meet a customer you must meet a client you must cultivate a relationship you must be introduced to somebody you must be introduced to a business so you must keep praying for these things god i want somebody to notice my product i want somebody to notice my expertise I want somebody to introduce me to the king in the palace. I want somebody to introduce me to so 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 place. You must deliberately call them out. You must deliberately write them down. Don't just live by chance. Don't put your life on flight mode. This phone is on flight mode. Now no person can call you. Don't put your life on flight mode. 
actively dictate what you want out of life. As you do that, you will see that you are magnetizing these figures. Write songs that you want. Write places that you want to go to. When I had these ideas about running developmental Christianity seminars and um, doing lectures around different countries and different places, I had to write the names of the people I want to invite me. And one of them was Dr. Chidi Okoranfo. He was the district superintendent of Assemblies of God Church in Umuahia then, and he runs the IPCI conference. Somebody preached a message from grass to grace. And the man has not grown in the grass. He, was, he just grew up in grace. He couldn't preach the message well in the Assemblies of God Divinity School. I said, God, I wish I was the one that was given this opportunity to preach this message. Have strong desires. Don't be shy about it. Have strong desires. And so, three years later, when I wrote down that I wanted to, and the program is really is usually January, the first few days in January, Dr. Chidi Okorafo called me to come and preach the same message in the same venue. And I prepared and I preached the message. And because I had prayed, I needed people. Baris Kazuka, of blessed memory, was there. And I had an urge, remember, the eyes, instinct, ideas, uh, intuition. I had the urge to just go out. As I went out, I met Barista Azukaobi. He said, Doctor, my brother Charles, as he talks, can you preach that message around Nigeria? I said, yes. So Assemblies of God Church wants to teach people about wealth creation. Can you do that? I said, yes. And uh, we are, he said, they will write me. They wrote me. And I transformed that message into a book, Money is an Idiot. And that book was giving me a quarter of a million every month for more than two years. That changed my finances, changed everything about me. So there are tipping points. Tipping points, you desire a certain amount, a certain level of finances. Tipping point, you have a product and a concept that your generation can ask for. Tipping point, you ask God to link you with people who can link you with a bigger platform, link you with a bigger audience. Because audience translates to money when you have a, a product and you have patronage. My prayer for you is that number one, you will change your mediocre mentality, start to desire big ideas. You are qualified. The people who are richer than you, they are not wiser than you. They are not more brilliant than you. They didn't stay in, the mo in their mother's home for two years. It's the same nine months they will have died. So you can desire these things, desire. Then the next thing is that you declare them. The next, time, the next thing is that you ask for people to come that will patron, that will associate with you. And as you do that, you will find that, that a tipping point takes place in your finances. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Subscribe to this channel, share these videos, like them. Send me a message on plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. Join my WhatsApp mentorship group by sending that message. Ask for the properties I have for sale, and then register for my online seminar coming up on the first of May. Promises to be very interesting. God bless you.